We're out of mushroom salt. We need to restock. This is our favorite seasoning salt, all purpose. Like instead of seasoning salt, we use this. So you can use any edible wild mushroom. However, we have some that are more of our favorites. So we keep those for other things and we use our least favorites for mushroom salts because they still make an amazing mushroom salt, but we're not using like our morels that are in, in shorter supply in something like this. You could also get mushrooms at the store, especially if you found some that were like discounted for quick sale, dehydrate them and use them. I've also seen at Costco, they have like big things of gourmet dried mushrooms, whether they're wild or not, I don't know. But that would be a good option. So I have puff balls, which we don't like to use other than for this. This is the only reason we dry them. Um, type this one, Mayor. Mm. Bullets? No, these are hawks. Oh. Let's see. These, yeah, these are hawks. Okay. Yeah, those are Hox wings are actually a mushroom you can use as a dye. They dye things blue or green. Can't remember. Um, so we're gonna need some hox wings all dry. You can tell they're aspen bullets because it's like a tinge of orange. And these are aspen bullets or bullets. Um, and Max says you can tell they're aspen because you can see that tint of orange there. So the first step we're gonna do is powder these mushrooms in a blender. You can use a fancy blender, you can use a cheap blender. I have done this in all sorts of things. You don't need to have fancy tools, you just need to have a blender. You could also use a clean coffee grinder. Um, you could probably, I don't know if a food processor would do it fine enough, they might be kind of chopped too much. I'm making a times nine batch which is three cups of powdered mushrooms. And on the recipe where it says makes one pint, if you put your mouse over top of there, you can scroll to make it how big you want. So the average person maybe doesn't have that much salt and bulk spices on hand. Because we buy all these things in bulk, I figured I might as well make a large batch. We use it, we share it, we give it away to people sometimes too when we're like, oh, you have to make this here. Take some and try it. Um, but really we just use it liberally on anything. The way the recipe is written, the amount of salt and the amount of spices in mushrooms, so there's this, they're equal parts, so it's half salt. So when you're seasoning something, think about how much salt you would use and use double. We use this on all our potatoes, meat, um, eggs, roasted vegetables, season a soup. Even if you don't like mushrooms, the mushrooms add an amazing flavor. I popped this tea towel on top because this is not airtight and the mushrooms are pretty powdery. So just so I wasn't fumigating our house. And then I always let it sit for a bit to let it settle because there's always gonna be some come out as you see. I don't let it sit another minute. And just don't inhale that. I mean, I don't think it's bad for you, but just, just don't inhale that. For a long time, I really didn't like eating mushrooms in anything, but then Marius had all these dried mushrooms, so that's why I started making this mushroom salt. And mushrooms add that umami flavor, which is one you just can't describe, but it just, just so...
instead of relying on a store-bought seasoning salt that most likely has fillers and anti-caking agents and probably maybe MSG and even if it's not labeled as MSG it's like yeast extract but it's actually MSG or something like that like they're sneaky they're sneaky soft it's sugar even that like you're paying so much and salt is the cheapest part and you think about how cheap salt is so this salt mix is mostly salt with a few spices and yet you're paying so much for it make your own save lots of money have better tasting things you're welcome